Here is a game that doesn't give a giant rat's ass about what class you choose. Your backstory will always be the same. And here is a character class that explicitly requires a couple of very specific important events to be mentioned in your backstory. Is it impossible to match them? The first message you get from the game is to walk around in Candlekeep and talk to the monks who tell you about the controls of the game breaking the fourth wall. There is also John Dalar who challenges you and explains combat in the game breaking the fourth wall again. And there is Ob, a wizard who creates a host of illusions to fight, while a bunch of fighters join you to teach about mass combat. The complete Paladin's Handbook explains how one can become a Paladin. According to the backstory of the game, my only option is the supportive mentor. The paladin is trained by a wise old master. She has to swear allegiance to the mentor's values. She is an only student of the mentor, and she has to pass a final test. The book describes a short and intensive training, but I can mix and match the learning time from the religious patronage option, in which a church takes children to a secluded place where they are raised by monks. She also has to have a confirmation ceremony. But this game doesn't mention any kind of confirmation ceremony or final test for that matter. The events in the prologue aren't just oddly out of place, a wizard creating a magic virtual reality and for competent fighters joining you in this training, this sounds like too much hassle. Training doesn't work like this. Training should be regular and shouldn't require much preparation. Like killing animals in the woods or sparring with the guards every day. Both the gate warden and Jondalar tells you it was Gorion who asked them to do these things, exactly on the day before leaving Candlekeep. Did Gorion really think he would make you ready for battle in one day? Imagine Algina, Gorion's foster child and student after long years of learning and training, one day waking up as the sun rises. She goes outside at 7 o'clock in the morning, stripped from all her worldly clothes, with only a simple staff representing her journey. And she knows exactly what to do. To walk past a series of monks and listen to their words of wisdom. Words that will be very useful in her life, but which are such transcendent truths that she can't really grasp them. And while walking this road of wisdom, she has to stop and defeat a fighter who uses an unfair tactic, then partake in another mock combat that was created using arcane rituals, to prove she is a leader worthy of the title of Paladin. This sounds to me very much like a confirmation ceremony including a ritual final test. But only because she is officially a Paladin, she is not yet a real Paladin. For that she has to face her biggest fear, losing her master and father and realizing she has to cope alone. <laughs> 